Alhamdulillah. Before we take the next question, um, some brothers want a clarification on the question that was asked by this brother here on speaking in tongues. Um, what they, they said is that it's not speaking in different languages like Yoruba, Hausa, Igbo, Arabic. There are some people who preach and they, they imitate something. They are, they are like talking in a different language. It's not very clear. If, if I am right, yes? Yes, that they are speaking like they have a spirit in them and they are speaking in a language not understood by anyone. Is that right? That is right? The brother said that the question he asked that there are some Christians who speak in different tongues, who speak in languages that no one understands and they claim to have spirit. What they're referring to is a statement in the Gospel of Mark that anyone who has faith can speak in tongues. There's a statement in the Christian that the poison shall not harm them and they will speak in different tongues in foreign languages. There's a statement in the Bible that all those who have faith the poison will not harm them and they speak in different tongues. And that's the reason when anyone says this, I tell, okay, if any Christian claims that he has got faith, I will give him poison, have in front of me. No Christian born so far has had poison in front of me. If they claim that they have the spirit and if they claim that they are faithful and they are believers in Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, no poison will hurt them and they will speak in different tongues. And the same thing when I had a dialogue with Dr. William Campbell. When I had a dialogue with William Campbell, he says that he has faith in him. So I gave him a 100 rupee Indian note. And in the 100 rupee Indian note, that 17 languages. I gave example, 100 rupees is in English and 100 rupees is in Hindi. I requested him to read the other 15 languages. Believers said, speak, read it, he could not. That means he has no faith. He could not read a 100 rupee note in different languages. In Gujarati, in Tamil, in Kannada, he could not. That means he doesn't have faith and he gave the 100 rupees back to me. That means he lost the bet. So this is a statement in the Bible that people who have faith and people who are true believers can speak in foreign tongues and no poison will harm them. That's the reason many a times in a debate when someone gives poison to the person who's preaching, never he has poison. He gets scared and runs away. That means he has no faith according to the Bible.